it out there that maybe you was the right tackle on, on Monday? Is that correct? Are you working with the ones? Uh, could be, could be. Um, I don't think they've made a final decision yet, but um, I think getting everybody prepared is the best option. Why? Why do you think you've been stashed away on the practice squad for as long as you have this season? I'm not sure. Um, I'm, I'm not in the room when they make those decisions. I just do my best to help the team in whatever possible way I can. So what how if, long have you been hurt? Um, I've been healthy a while. Um, I'm not really too sure. I don't have a time frame on it. I don't have a specific time. What have you been doing to keep yourself physically and mentally prepared for this opportunity all season long? Uh, I've been in the building all year. Um, never miss a day. I worked out every day, lifted, um, been to all the meetings, took notes. Uh, I've been here just getting the mental reps and just working out, just staying in shape, doing the best I can. What, what exactly? I mean, we all saw you go down in training camp, but what exactly happened? Well, I had a um, strain in one of the ligaments in my elbow, and uh, that was it. Did you have to get surgery? No, no, no. I didn't have to get surgery. I just needed some time. Is it, did you take a pinch to them during the offseason and get the middle right tackle, or did you just know that's just, just this league? Uh, no, I didn't take offense to it. Um, we're all here to help the team, and we're all here for one goal. So, wherever my role is to help the team, uh, that's that's what I'm here for. I'm grateful for whatever my role is. Do you think your game is any different now than the last time we saw it you know, in February? Last time we saw you know. Can February? you? I'm just saying, have you improved at all? Any, you, you know, I, I, what did you focus on in the offseason? We haven't talked to you. So. Uh, well, the main thing, uh, I feel like I always had good feet. The main thing in the offseason for me was to work on my hands, uh, landing good strikes. That's pretty what I've been working on all season, all off season, just trying to get better in uh, the areas that I need to. I would assume you've had a, a pretty tight relationship with LC. What is What has LC uh, told you throughout the season? What have your conversations been? Uh, I, I talk to LC all the time. Uh, just the guidance has been really helpful, and I'm grateful for it. Um, just telling me to stay ready and uh, just you know letting me know that he'll still be in the building, supporting uh, no matter what my role is. And uh, I'm forever grateful for that. That's real. Can you confirm or deny that your nickname is Zay? <laughs> my nickname is Zay. Everybody calls me Zay. Nobody really calls me Zay. Is that back from Ohio State days or here? Or? Uh, I was just since I was a kid. Everybody always called me Zay. Nobody really ever called me Isaiah. How much does it help the room as a whole having veterans like Lyle and, and Alex and, and obviously Ted adding those guys in the offseason? I think having the leadership is uh, is great for the room. Um, I think there's a lot of young guys in the room. There's a lot of people in the middle and. Uh, just hearing, just having the people experience to guide you on the field or mentally or what not to do, what to do during the week to get prepared for the game, I think that's all great. That's all great help.